got after after it was like you know 10 minute easter bunny gig it was cool like in the middle of the gig it was fine but before and afterwards it was not and i don't really think that that's worth it in the long run it was before and after but was not like some of the stuff like trying to find it and not trying because all all but two were in like a suburbia neighborhood right and the first one we went to actually like um we kept having like grandparents or cars pop up and the thing was i would lose sight of him because a car would pull in hold on so the one house he tripped on i actually like lost sight of him Ooh. because the neighbors pulled in with their kids because they were seeing the easter bunny with their family so I had a really good parking spot, and then they pulled in and I lost him. Alright, I gotta hit you first. Uh, sure. Oh, there's a lot of fools in here. But yeah, I will say though, I've never really like experienced like the discourse as Spider-Man that I did today as the Easter Bunny. So that is definitely saying something. Everyone's nice to the superhero. Everyone can give fuck all to the Easter Bunny who leaves who presents. Like the mythical creature who li leaves your kids presents, you know? Ooh, I almost got hit by that. And see, like, I'm also trying to do, like, um... Would you call it a Hell in the Hell experience? Nah, I didn't die in one hit or anything like that. Wasn't It wasn't quite a Hell in Hell experience. I was never, like... Verbally aggressive to anybody in the Easter Bunny suit. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Where's the. Oh, there it is. Right, excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Watch your head. Let's get air Although, I imagine, I was imagining a hypothetical scenario where, like, obviously, this would be, like, very morally wrong to do, you know, um, in the concept of, like, you know, ruining a kid's childhood, right? But, like, I was imagining a scenario where, like, it would have to get to the point where, like, you know, um, some random parent went up to me and was like, hey, I want you to take a picture with my kid because you're the Easter Bunny, and it's like, well, you didn't pay for it. So, like, I technically am not allowed to do that. And then the parent would get bitchy and whatever, and then, like, completely, like, mortifying the child or, like, getting out of that situation by threatening to take off the Easter Bunny suit and exposing the Easter Bunny as a fraud. That was gonna be my trump card, honestly, if, like, someone, like, went up to me, like a... Karen went up to me and gave me any sort of attitude like that. That was the ultimate trump card of like, you're not doing this because I could ruin an entire childhood for you if you do not back off. I have the power here. You have no power against the bunny who leaves your kid's presence. Have fun explaining that conversation to your eight year old. Would I actually do it? Probably not. I don't think I would be that desperate. But then again, I also wore the Easter Bunny hat when I used the Faust hat recently, so you know what? Well, like, because you also have to be professional as well, you know? Like, to a certain degree. Like, obviously, like, if it was, um... If, it, if they were a paying customer, it would be totally different, obviously. And we didn't really have any of that, except for, like, one parent who 
it wasn't even really like a bad thing, but it was just sort of like a minor nuisance where like so with our like Easter Bunny gig, right? Um we basically had a half hour window from like when our time was registered in order to get to a location. So, um if our if we had a time for like let's say like 12 o'clock, we could arrive any time between 12 and 12:30. Um, and the clients knew that. So there was this one parent who, like, right at, like, the very end, like, not, like, the very, very last one, but, like, second to last one, I think, um, messaged, uh, our boss, contact, person, whatever, um, and he messaged us and was like, hey, how are you guys doing on time because this lady was messaging you and whatever, and I was like, we're literally, like, two minutes away, and it was like, we were supposed to be there at, I think it was like 3.15 or 3.10. No, it was 3.10, my mistake. We were supposed to be there at 3.10, and we pretty much got there like right on the dot at some point, but this was also at like 3.05, and I was like, yeah, we're gonna be there in like two minutes. And we had to like turn around and whatever, and I was like, so like, this lady can chill, because we have that half hour increment. And I even like said to him, and I was like, and they're scheduled for 3.10, so uh, they can yuck and wait, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, we got tipped $20 by that lady, though, so, you know. All worked out in the end for being on time and punctual, but, like, that was the gist of it. But I do think that, um, I probably wouldn't do it again. Unless there was, like, unless it was, like, a little bit more... Not organized, but just, like, a little bit better presented, I guess. Obviously, being in a bunny suit for, like, five hours isn't necessarily the funnest thing, but, like, you know, being able to, like, take your sleeves out and whatever. It was also really filthy, too. Um, so, that's basically, honestly, why, like, if I... If we make that sub-goal this week, I'm not gonna, like, sit down and play... I don't want to sit down with, like, this fucking grass and dirt and shit all over my gaming chair. It has been a hot minute since I have fought this boss with this character. That was fast. Her arm. Oh, thank you. Where's the top? Oh my god. Wait. Sit. Bro. Ah, there's the buster arm I was looking for. Amanda, watch out. Oh, I have no health. Okay. Where... Did the fucking buster arm break? I imagine this creepy ass seven foot bunny that eggs people's houses and people just go candy. You can come out now. Also, special shout out to Amanda once again for making this fantastic cup design.
I probably would have gotten the S rank if I um didn't run into it. Or if he, she didn't run into me, honestly.